a little brief background about me. I've been in clinical research for about 25 years. I started, well, my educational background is in medical technology, biochemistry, and clinical pharmacology. I started as a bench chemist and then transferred into clinical research. As a CRA, I worked my way up to clinical manager, and then I started a consulting business for medical writing and clinical research. I've been involved either as an employee or as a consultant in, in companies of all sizes all over the country, as well as some, com some companies in Europe. And I've been involved in a lot of IMD submissions, not necessarily from a regulatory perspective, but working with regulatory. So I did a lot of work in phase one, so INDs are something that are near and dear to my heart. Welcome. I'm glad to have you today. So let's talk a little bit about the IND and in, an e in a CTD slash ECTD format. Your takeaway from today is, is that you'll have an overview of the common technical document, how and why it came into existence. And you'll be able to describe the electronic com common technical document and basic tools for its implementation. Talk more about style guides if you're not familiar with them, or if you are, maybe uh, get a little more information about them. Basic tools for implementing the ECTD, and why the style guide is important for ECTD implementation. And also to map the contents of the traditional IND to the common technical document format. 